Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of November 2020. We're starting off with the Sun of Car the Sun of Cards. <laughs> the Sun. Okay. Rewind. We're starting off with the Sun card. You have the Five of Swords. You have the Magician card. The Two of Cups. The Three of Wands. The Nine of Swords. The Four of Swords. Oops. The Ten of uh, Wands. The Hanged Man. And the Ten of Cups. Okay. All right, Pisces. Right at the center, there's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of stress. For some of you guys, I feel that you're very disconnected. And this could be energies that you're going to, if you're not experiencing that already, you will be feeling this way uh, throughout November. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you have a lot of things going on. You have to worry about your relationship. You have to worry about business or where you work. You have to worry about children, etc. I feel like you guys feel like you're being pulled towards different directions. Um, there is a shift that I see that is going to be happening for you guys. So for some of you, you could have had an idea or you could have been in a situation where you felt like you wanted a certain type of outcome. And based on that, the outcome is very different. But you come to the understanding that that's what was best for you. So I see, I see a turnaround of events for you guys. Now, if you are in a, a serious committed relationship, it could have been that all your hopes and aspirations were put towards that individual. And with the Five of Swords and the Nine of Swords, you're quickly coming to the understanding that the person you are dealing with is not only stubborn, but pride is something that is very important to them. And you're realizing, am I willing to deal with this type of energy? Um, because by me, you know, staying there, sitting, being quiet and silenced, I'm kind of embracing that egocentric type of energy. Now, I do see clandestine type of relationship. So we're not speaking directly about those of you guys that are in a serious committed relationship. This is directly for those of you guys that are dealing with people that are taken. This is for those of you guys that are dealing with you being in a relationship and dealing with other people. Um, clandestine to me represents things that are not completely transparent. That is that of the night. So again, that's the reason why they're telling me it's not to do with those of you guys that are in a serious relationship. Now, if you're in a serious relationship and you've been feeling like your partner's been hiding something and every time you try to confront them, they kind of try to flip the switch, then maybe you are in a clandestine situation. You're just not aware of it. And it has nothing to do with you. It's about what your husband or what your wife's doing behind doors uh, or when you're not around. So again, what they're saying here is that a situation is going to come to a culmination. It's going to come to a conclusion of understanding that whatever is being done in the hidden, right? So this is if this is if you're the one that is in a relationship, but you're also dealing with someone else, you're in a third party or if your partner is in a third party, they're going to come to the understanding that certain things they're not going to be able to control um about the other person a behavior so this could be what pops everything off so what i mean by that is if you don't agree to what they're wanting or what they're expecting from you they're going to come back around and tell you well i'm going to let your husband know or i'm going to let your wife know that type of energy so i do see things quickly having a turnaround but it's going to be to the best of your interest pisces because you want to pull the fuck away from that type of energy um, and I feel you guys like almost being kind of slapped in the face, like, you know, I knew that there had to be an ending, but I have to take this, do this ending now before everything around you, uh, starts to kind of fall apart and you don't want that. 
Now, if this is your partner messing around, then I'm going to be quite frank with you. The person they're dealing with is a petty person, is a person that is not going to give two shits. They're going to come back around and give you the information or something's going to happen where they're going to put what your partner's been doing on display. And I see you trying to wrap your head around the situation. For some of you guys, this could be that you kind of felt it, but you were unaware, you weren't certain. In November, things are going to start to come out, things that have been trying or things that have been kept in the hidden. But this is to the best of your interest. Why? Because you're finally knowing exactly where you stand in this situation. And what they're saying here is, This is going to help you realize who the person that is right for you is going to stand beside you. Uh, more than likely, it's going to be your partner or more than likely, it's going to be you standing by your partner. Because, yes, we're humans. Yes, we all mess up. But when people go out of their way to try to make your life miserable or to try to crumble your life, especially those of you guys that have been married for a very long time, it's like, no, you ain't going to show up in my house and tell me this, this, and that. And you think I'm going to, you know, just walk away from this marriage of 20 years because, you know, you thought that they were going to give you or they were going to walk away from this marriage like it's not going to happen. So what I'm telling you is if you're dealing with the situation in November, don't be quick. And I'm the first one to tell you don't deal with this type of nonsense or shenanigans. But I feel that the, the energy of this third party is like petty ass energy. So if you find yourself in this situation, it's going to be very important for you to stand your ground and do not, and I repeat, do not get to their level. Like be a greater person because this is just petty ass energy and, and I'm... Like I said, I'm being 100% honest. Now, for those of you guys that are dealing with the person that you know is taken, things are going to unfold that are not going to be comfortable for you. But this is good because it's going to give you the shake you need to open your eyes and to realize the type of shitty person you're dealing with. I feel the magician card is a representation of the magician in reverse. This is a petty ass person. This is a charlatan this is a person that lies this is a person that does whatever they have to do to make you feel love or to make you think that they love you so you don't walk away and you're stuck in this situation a situation of uncertainty and you know damn well that all they do is talk pull away from that to find your happiness pisces this is for those of you guys that are single um or are in a relationship that hasn't been a very long relationship. Like, don't deal with this type of fuckery. Honestly, you deserve better than this. Um, if it's you doing this, be careful because this might come out in the open and it's going to bite your ass in the end. So uh, this is, you know, it's not going to connect with everyone. But for those of you guys that connect with this reading, uh, definitely be careful, you know. Don't put yourself out there if you don't really need to. Uh, if they start being petty with you or they start threatening, believe them. Believe them. Block them. Do whatever you have to do to pull away from that because you don't want it to come back around and for family member and friends to find out because then their perception of you is completely going to change. And though they may smile to you and pretend they're good with you, behind your back they're going to be saying all kind of shit. So you don't need the shenanigans, all right? I hope it gives you some type of clarity. Do not put yourself like that or in that situation. Uh, we have Pluto, retu uh, Pluto return, all to do with major transformation. Uh, let's focus on the positive and not the negative. Whatever's not working for you, close that chapter, Pisces, in your life and walk away from it, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.